Hello everyone, and welcome to another introduction video for the Cinumeric Control. Today, we're going to talk about some of the system alarms that come with the CNC during activation or operation, as well as how to work with these alarms and work with them offline for further diagnostics. Alarms are really helpful to understand what's going wrong with your machine or get some warnings in terms of things to prevent. Using the alarm log is really helpful for original equipment manufacturers or your service department to help get the machine back up and running in a timely manner. So the first thing we're going to look at is the alarms themselves. So you'll see the alarms are scrolling on the top bar right above the Siemens logo. That's a scrolling list of all of my current alarms. However, sometimes it's helpful to see those alarms in a static list form. To do that, go and hit the menu select key, Diagnostics, and then I'm going to hit the alarm list key. Now I see a static list of all of my alarms. As I'm sure everyone's familiar, sometimes you can clear alarms using reset keys or through a sequence on the machine. In order to see a detailed description of all of the alarms since the system's been powered up, we can look at the alarm log. This detailed description is very helpful to figure out maybe if something went wrong along a sequence of steps or during a process. For example, if a light curtain was broken, but then the alarm for that light curtain has been reset with the reset key or an alarm cancel key. In the alarm log, you can find that that event happened. Now we're looking at the alarm log and we can review all of the events associated with it. To save this offline, you're simply going to press the save log key and it'll tell us on the bottom screen where the file is being saved. So I press the save log key. It's telling me it's being saved under HMI data, logs, alarm log. To view this offline, I'm simply going to copy the log as a text file onto my USB drive. To find the file, first I'm going to hit menu select, setup, system data, and I have a list of all the files on my system. I'm going to select HMI data, logs, alarm log, and here I have the alarm log text file. I'm simply going to copy it from the internal memory and paste it onto my USB drive. Now I have the alarm log, an easy to use text file for diagnostics either with the service department or with the original equipment manufacturer of the machine. Again, the alarms can be very helpful to figuring out any potential hazards that are occurring with your machine as well as getting your machine back up and running. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and come back for more sessions as we introduce you to the Cinemaric CNC Control.